What's, What's up, up you guys? guys? Welcome back to our channel and welcome to our San Francisco vlog part two. <laughs> So today we're gonna do a lot of touristy things because it is beautiful outside today. But our first stop of the day is Chinatown. We are about to go up that hill. The hills here are crazy. I thought Seattle Hills were bad, San Francisco's on another level. Here we go. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's like going up a roller coaster, I swear. Can't even see the top. <laughs> and then there's a stop sign right here. It's like, why? Why would you put a stop sign right here? I hate this. I hate this so much. And we're going up more. One more hill. Oh lord. No! <laughs> Okay, so we went uphill, but now you have to go downhill, and look at this. You can't even see the road off of that part. <laughs> We're going down who knows where, because you can't see it. <laughs> Ready? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Terrifying. Okay, so we've been walking around Chinatown for a while and now we have made our way to the Good Mong Kok Bakery for their famous dim sum. Can't wait to try it out! So we waited in line for about 20 minutes to get the dim sum and then we drove to Battery Park to eat in the car because that place is to go only. So now we are finally here and we are going to try this dim sum, yep. see if it was worth the 20 minutes. So. And let's see if it would still taste good with our soy sauce and chili, chili oil. oil. Are we going for a shomai first? Shomai for sure. Here's Cheers. one bite. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. It's good, right? Very juicy. I still would prefer to have some chili oil though. But that shomai is solid. And for like three dollars and twenty cents for four? Yeah. That's that a good deal. Hakao. Shrimp dumpling. Cheese. Mm. They're pretty generous with the filling. Lots of shrimp. Moving on to the chive and shrimp dumplings. Mmm. Look at the cross section you guys. Is it good? It's it good. Very chivey. Do you think I'll like it? Um, I think it's gonna be a mixed feeling for you because like the flavor is good, but like you can still taste the chive, mm -hmm. but it's not like spicy chive. You know, it's like a sweet chive. What I just don't like is the the outside wrapper. The wrapper is a little bit thick. Mm -hmm. This is like a sticky rice wrapped in a wonton wrapper. Mhm. Mm Actually, I like it the last time I eat it because it's a uh, pork. Nothing special. We also order some chow mein. We did not. I asked for a small order, but they said they go by the pound, so they give us the whole thing by the pound, three dollars. Some for. mountain of noodles. Mmm, very simple, but mm. like it's good. Because normally these things are very oily, you know. Yeah, still missing chili oil. Mmm, it's good. We definitely did not need this much chow mein. And the very last thing is a baked barbecue pork bun. Nice. Got I get no all bread and no meat, <laughs> no filling. It's very doughy. Yeah, very. You have had better. Mm -hmm. Alright, anyways, we're gonna eat and then we're gonna go to the viewpoint. We have made it to the viewpoint. We are at the east parking lot though, not the main one because there was no parking there. But pro tip, this place is a lot less crowded and you can easily get a good photo too because look at this view. It's still a great view. I feel like no matter where you are, if it's at a viewpoint, then it's a good view, you know? Like adventuring. This place is really massive. 
impressive. Like I didn't realize how big it was and it's pretty impressive. It's really cool. Highly recommend coming here. So the Palace of Fine Arts was fun. We have done a lot of walking, so that means it's time to go get a snack. So we're at the snack place, which is Pineapple King Bakery, and it's actually cash only, and we have no cash. But thankfully, they have online order where you can use your credit card to pay, so thank God. So we ordered some, and we'll show you them when we get them. And here we are, back with the car mukbang. <laughs> yep. This looks so good. It looks so crispy on the top with a thick slice of butter. Mm. It smells good. Smell good too. So I got a guava butter one. And I got a regular Kerrygold butter. Yeah. So let's Cheers. try. Cheers. This is going to be so messy, I feel like. Mmm. Mm. Whoa. It's so soft. Mm-hmm. It's so good. The best pineapple buns I've ever had. Wait, this is so good. Guava but butter is like just like slightly tangy, so it kind of cuts the sweetness a little bit. Mine is very buttery. Very buttery. Mmm. Mmm. That, one, that one's way better. Mm hmm But like the bun itself is what makes it. So on the outside, you got the pineapple crust on top. Mm -hmm. So when you bite, first bite in, it's crunchy. Mm -hmm. And you got to get to the inside layer where it's, it's very pillowy and it's soft. Because of that, it absorbs all the butter. It's just so good. The next day. Good morning, you guys. So last night, we completely forgot to update you guys on the vlog. So we went to dinner. We went to a sushi place. It was just like, okay. It was really dark and really loud inside. It was kind of like a club. But afterwards, we got some ice cream, which was really good. They had some really unique Asian flavors, and we really enjoyed that. And then we just ended the night going to like this really super decorated house which was so pretty, but now here we are. So we are gonna go grab some pastries from Arsicult Bakery because I've heard great things about that place and I wanna compare it to B Patisserie. So that's where we're gonna go now. One chocolate croissant. One bigger chocolate. Oh, no, 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 I'm sorry. One almond, one ham and cheese. Oh, oh. <laughs> are you sure? Yeah, ham and cheese for sure. And then one clean almond, please. Okay, so we got our pastries from Arsipal, but they didn't have coffee, so now we need to find a coffee shop. Got our coffee. Cheers. Mmm, that's good. I got the Dolce de Leche latte. It was good. I got a vanilla oatmeal latte. Good too. And the place is so cute. So now we're gonna head back to the hotel and we're gonna eat our pastry. First croissant we're gonna try is the ham and cheese croissant. I haven't gotten like the filling yet, but the croissant itself, so flaky, so buttery. Mm hmm My turn. I'm making a mess. Oh my gosh. Mm hmm This is the best ham and cheese croissant I've ever had in my life. I feel like we have had better. I just like the fact that it's very crunchy. The croissant part is definitely like up there. Mm hmm But the filling, I'm not sure. Like I feel like I've had better. Next, we have an almond croissant. It's so crunchy, but you know what? B patisserie is better. Like yeah. at least the filling, right? Mm -hmm. Like the texture mm -hmm. this of the croissant is good. Like you can tell there's so many layers and it is very, very flaky. But B patisserie, when I bit into that B patisserie croissant, my mind was like blown. Biting into this, I was like, eh, it's good, but it's not B patisserie good. Exactly. <laughs> Last thing we got was the Queen Amon. Oh, this one's better. This one might be better. The Queen of Man here is better. Mm, I really like it. Anyways, that's our review for Arsicult Bakery. Now we need to get ready and pack up because we're actually leaving today, but we still have more food to try. So stay tuned. <laughs> Packed up, it's time to go. All 
right guys, our last meal in San Francisco is gonna be at this Chinese restaurant called San Tang. They are supposedly very famous for their chicken wings, so that's what we're gonna try. Chicken is crispy on the outside, juicy and tender on the inside. But the star of the dish is the sauce. The sauce is like a caramelized sugar sauce with a hint of a uh, spicy pepper aftertaste. Uh, they have the Sichuan pepper in the sauce. It's really good, and I'm so excited to try it with the rice. Mm, it goes so well with the rice. Just got done eating. It was really good but it was very expensive. For yeah. the two items and one rice, it was $40. $41 to be exact. Yeah, highly recommend. It's like one of those dishes where you just like put the sauce on top of the rice and you like mix it up. It's so good. Yep. We, we have some left leftovers that we're gonna bring back to Seattle. <laughs> so that'll be our probably lunch tomorrow, which we're very excited about. Now we are gonna pick up some more pineapple buns to bring back to Seattle and then we're heading to the airport. Got a whole bag to bring back to Seattle. Yeah.